Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Resident Evil 4. When we last left off, uh, we apparently have to go back and find a regenerator and some lost treasure that the game just decided to forget that we've actually picked up, which is questionable. So, let's get on with that, shall we? But at least that's more money for us to upgrade things. So, you know, I guess we can't complain too hard. Or maybe, oh, I didn't search in here before. Another black bass. Well, I got a feeling we might be uh, in need of some of this health. If this is indeed a regenerator that we've got to fight. Yeah, we read that. See, we've read all this. And it's the crystal ore that we forgot as well. Well, I say we forgot. That we just didn't pick up. Which I'm calling bullshit on. Uh, and we've got to go back out that way in a minute anyway so we need to go to the incubation lab oh look you see and it's saying that we didn't unlock this which again we did yeah so I'm guessing whenever you die the game just resets the entire state of the area which uh, yeah, sure. It's irritating as fuck, but I suppose. Alright, well, if we're going to be hunting regenerators, we want the right tool for the right job. At least we've got a shortcut coming back, I suppose. So, there's that. And we are going the right way now, aren't we? Yeah, we've got to get all the bloody... Ah, and we've got this treasure up here to get. Son of a bitch. Like, we've literally already done this. Let's hope that we don't die again. Hey, dude. Yeah, we're back again. Back again, that's right. Now, we're going to have to turn the power on, aren't we? Because otherwise we can't get in. Which is kind of annoying, but I suppose it isn't the end of the world. Give it one of them. And then go grab the, what was it, like a ruby or an amethyst or something. I mean, treasure's treasure at the end of the day. It's all coin in our purse. Oh, that's not where we need to be. We need to be this way. Alright, we've got some gunpowder as well. Which is, I suppose, handy. Do we want to... Uh, let's make some shotgun shells. It's probably a good idea. So that's interesting. It doesn't tell you um, when you have shotgun shells in your inventory, like already in loaded in your gun. So that's good to know. So even though it says zero, you actually do have some loaded. You see, we're learning guys, we're learning things about this game. We're learning all kinds of things, all of the things, all of the mechanics. And you thought this retard couldn't learn new tricks. Okay. Now this. There it is. Ooh. Okay. And it does indeed look like it's nine maiden. The quick one at that. We can get the one in its head. There we go. Oh, we got it. Alright, that actually 
wasn't that bad. You okay? Yeah, no sweat. That was probably the easiest um, hunt that we've had so far. Having said that, I can imagine if we didn't have this rifle, that probably could have been pretty rough. Not sure if what we got for it was worth it, but, you know, potato, potato. Mm. Now, potentially, we could... No. I see you took care of a request. <laughs> nice work. I guess we can't what actually trade for anything useful. We could get some more of these just for the sake of it. Um we could also trade for some treasure. I'm guessing we can only trade well that's cheap to be fair. <laughs> Good instinct stress. So's that. And then, you know what? Let's just grab three more of these. Because we're pretty much at the end of the game now. So, let's start making some valuable goodies. Ah, interesting. Right, so we can sell that now too. Cool. Um, so this is worth 5k. Let's put you in that. You in that. you in that that makes it worth 23k and this bad boy sure why not and that's worth 33 um fine well could probably make that a little bit more efficient but I don't care enough to be honest we're so close to the end there we go. Now, I guess we could max the knife out. Not a horrible idea. Ah. We've actually done significantly more than I thought, actually. You've exhausted our normal range of hmm. services for this weapon. I mean, if you're interested in something more. Well, you catch my trick. I'm not 100% sure how worth the increased fire rate more actually is on that weapon. To suit your specific needs. <laughs> I mean, it's that would be pretty mad. But I guess well, I just We've given this one all we have to give rather have the knife be as good as it can possibly be saying that with that said um no that's fine let's go spend our tokens i think i'll keep the rest of that treasure pretty much uh for another playthrough Yeah, I'm sure you do. Let's see if we can get some really cool upgrades. 100% health recovery, not fantastic. Come on, give me something actually good. 100% or 50% health recovery for green herbs. Mm, not convinced that's that fantastic. Ah, uh, really? 20, uh... Yeah, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with these charms. I mean, they're fine. There's little bonuses, I suppose, but... Not fantastic. Right. Breaks over, I suppose. Let's... Let's actually save. To make sure the game is actually saved this time so we don't have to go back and get treasure that we've already got and whatnot and let's continue which was back the way we came because of course it was
because I am a moron. Hello, buddy. There we go. Let's go grab the other stuff. I'm surprised, actually, that we've had enough money and stuff to completely upgrade all of our weapons, including our knife. Uh, I did think that it might take a little bit more than one run. Admittedly, I suppose. We didn't have, um, you know, like a magnum or anything, which is interesting because in the OG game, you got the broken butterfly for free. If memory serves, anyway. Definitely got one of the magnums, I'm pretty sure, for free. Because it's on the uh, merchant's table. Can we craft... No. You feeling good, Ash? You, you alright? Hanging in there? She kind of looks like Sonic. Apart from the fact that she doesn't... Ah, much better. Yeah, Mum. Let's go. Express you know, elevator I, to hell. I was thinking. We work well together, don't we? Uh huh. I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. Mm. What do you think? We can protect the US from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. Yeah, let's keep it simple, Ash. One thing at a time. So what have we got going on in here apart from moldy coffee cups? Ooh, stuff. You definitely need to work on your cardio, Ash. Because you're going to need to run for more than five minutes. Five minutes, five seconds. Before you're out of breath. I'm just saying. Not being that guy or anything. Alright. Well, that works. So, transporting the amber. I must stress the use of extreme caution when handling the amber deposits from underneath the castle. Work with the utmost respect and obedience. It is imperative that you do not disturb the holy body slumber. Oh. Yeah, let, let's not disturb it. At least, that's not... This must be what we need to be talking about. Yeah, we need to burn all of that. Like, seriously need to burn all of that. Now, if I was a piece of treasure, I'd be there, apparently. Alright. Now that is a large-ass chunk of amber. Yellow herb. Interesting that we're still getting yellow herbs. Even though... We already have max health. That's kind of curious. Ooh, more crystal ore. Definitely have that. Superior Species Report. Dearest Lord Sadler, I am overjoyed to report wonderful news. Production of Superior Species of Las Plagas is officially underway. If all goes accordingly, rest assured, we will reach our ultimate goal. The Plaga is a truly magnificent organism. It has the capacity to live anywhere. Uh, capacity to live in any vertebrate, be it human, dog, or even crow. There is no other parasite like it on Earth. The superior species is particularly impressive. It can assimilate with a host without causing any damage to the brain. No one can oppose the strength of your dominance, my lord. On the contrary, who would resist once they experience the utter joy that accompanies the absence of free will? I am living proof how ignorant I once was. 
In a few days, I would have finished administering the plaga to all of the high-ranking researchers, and then they too shall know. And when your plan is complete, the whole world shall know. That's Annabelle. Interesting. And of course, uh, Lewis at one point was infested. But he had surgery because we saw his scars. Ah. Spinel. Nice. We'll have it. Well, let's go have a look, I suppose. Ooh, look at that. This is our holy body. Our divine providence ensued. Such a profound blessing for all. Lost planet. Welcome. Oof. My children. I am Osman Sadler, the speaker for our Lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. <laughs> Foolish lambs. Why do you deny grief? Now, abandon your body. Obey. Obey the voice of our Lord. <laughs> that was lucky. Pray for him, these wicked sinners. My faithful disciples shall deliver to you your penance. Now, child, you need not be afraid. Submit your body and release yourself from fear. Thing the gun jammed. It's a good thing that wasn't our red nine as well. Settler, you bastard. Yeah, we're gonna have problems if we can't get rid of this uh, plaga. Serious problems. <clears throat> but. I'm sure we're going to overcome these difficulties. All right, let's go. Oof. Now, let's see if we can sneak. Those like weird concubines he's got. They were pretty interesting. They literally have like towels over their head. They can he see nothing. Alright, time for you to say goodnight. I think we're clear in here. What do we got? Gunpowder. Now can we? No, nope, we're going to have to use the gun. Probably alerted a load of people. Per your request, redevelopment of the island is well underway. Weapons and other defensive equipment have been set up to guard against any outside intruders. By the time we are finished, the island will be a giant fortress. The defences won't hold up long term, but they should last until we carry out our plan. And once accomplished, we'll be that much closer to our ultimate goal of world domination. None will be able to resist our power. 
Jack Krauser. Oh, here he comes. I thought somebody would uh, hear those gunshots. Ah, we haven't had a second fight with Krauser yet. I can hear someone going on about gobbledygook. Maybe they didn't hear us. Maybe we only thought they heard us. Okay, let's go. Alright, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Let's see if we can't be a sneak. Yep, he's kind of looking the wrong way. If he pisses off, we can get him in the neck. Come on. Turn around. Whilst I let the cat out. Maybe he's not going to turn around. No. That's disappointing. No matter. Ah. Right. Ah. Uh, oh shit. That was unfortunate. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Don't say I don't give you nothing. Oh, hello. One for you. One for you. Good night. Okay, what else have we got around here? Typical. Just about to be a sneaky sneak. And they suddenly decide to go hostile. Ooh, large gold bar. Don't mind if I do. Merchant, uh, enjoy that. Whilst filling my pockets with coin. Nice. Oof. This does not look like a fun place to be. It's a lot of dog tags. Operation, ah, that's what Liam was on about earlier. Few people have heard the name, even within the highest ranks of the US government. And little wonder too, the operation was not made public. It was conducted in secret and then buried. The reason being, it was too inhumane. It all started back in 2002, when a small unit of US special forces was sent to infiltrate an area of South America. Their mission was to eradicate the drug cartels. The whole operation took several years to prepare for and only the most elite soldiers were selected to participate, including Leon. I mean, Leon could only have been in the military, what? Four years? Tops at that time? I don't know if the mission was a failure or not, but I do know the fate of those elite soldiers once it was over. Apparently the entire unit was wiped out, except oh, maybe that wasn't the one Liam was on in Dark Side Chronicles. Apparently the entire unit was wiped out except for the commanding officer, Major Krauser, and not by the cartels, but by the US. It shouldn't have been difficult to extract a single stranded unit, and all and all it would have taken was a single helicopter. But for some reason the military didn't act. Rumors say it was the decision. Uh, rumours say the decision was the outcome of a power struggle amongst the top brass. Others say it was a directive from the former president himself. But we may never know the truth since it was all a cover-up. But I'm certain of one thing. The US government let those people die. Brave young people who dedicated their lives to protect the country. Their country. I want to expose this crime, not because it's my responsibility as a reporter, but because it is my duty as a fellow American. Note 1. This document contains Operation Javier and was written by an American journalist named something. This article will never be published. 
someone has already been taken care of. Mmm. So that's why Krauser's a bit grouchy. Actually gives proper... I'm waiting. RPD Leon. So, yes. That's actually kind of cool. Metal Gear, it can't be. Alright, sure thing, Krause, old boy. Ashley Graham's abduction. Phase 1, depart from campus with the target. Escort the target as usual until the start of Phase 2. There should be three others inside the vehicle, including Baker. Abel's unit will follow behind you in a separate vehicle. Continue to drive your normal route. Phase 2. Stop the vehicle under the pretense of engine trouble. Transfer the target to Abel's vehicle. Phase 3. Abel's unit will change course. Subdue and restrain the target. Place the target in a large container. Phase 4. Baker's unit will create a diversion. Henry's unit will infiltrate the investigation database and disable their network. Phase 5. Meet at point K9 and transfer the cargo onto the ship. That was a very well orchestrated job. But, you know, we'd expect no less from Krauser. I like the way they look alive. I like the way they seem to give us like more reason for Krauser to betray his country. Like, it just feels way more fleshed out. Not that this guy was bad, something happened, he angry. Nice. Alright, let's go meet our old boss, shall we? And something's bleeding. Look alive, huh? Oh, hello. We know it does. You keep telling us this, and we keep agreeing. What can I interest you in? Well, we're kind of running out of things for you to interest us in, to be honest, no, mate. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Now, what can we sell you? Oh, gold bar. How'd you fancy that? And a crystal ore. Not that. Thank you. You're welcome. I suppose we could just get that. Because why not? If you want well, we've given this one all we have to give. Come back any It's a pretty bloody fine weapon now, that's for sure. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to save this one here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I think we're going to go meet old Krauser and see what he's up to.